Hi there, this is Jack, JCZ1994, and today I want to show you how to get YouTube videos onto your PSP. To do this, I'm going to use the same software that I use in my video, How to Get YouTube Videos onto Your iPod. To get it, I'll go to dvdvideosoft.com, find where it says Free YouTube to iPod Converter, click Download Now, click Run, and then install the software. Once I install it, I can open it under Start, All Programs, DVD Video Soft, Free YouTube to iPod Converter. This is what the program looks like. What we need to do first is put a URL for a YouTube video in this top box. So we'll go to YouTube, and I'll find a video. I'll take one of my own videos. Let me scroll down. We'll do this one. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this URL right here. I'll right click the URL in the address bar, click copy. I can minimize this. And in this first box, right click and hit paste. For the output file, under Browse, I'll just save it on my desktop, Movie, and click Save. Finally, under Devices, I'll choose Sony PSP, and then I'll click Download and Convert. Clicking that will bring up this window with the progress bar in it. When it's done, a message will pop up saying process is completed and you can click OK. Finally click close and you can close this window out. So now your YouTube video is saved in an MP4 format on your desktop and in my case I called it movie. What we need to do now is get it onto your um, PSP's memory card and you can do this in one of two ways. You can do it through a card reader or through USB. I don't have a card reader on my computer, so I'm going to do it through USB mode. So I'll go ahead and put my PSP in USB connection mode, which can be found under settings in the PSP menu, and plug it in. Just go down here. Okay, this is what's on your PSP's um, memory stick. And there are four, four main folders, PSP, which is where all your game data is saved, music, video, and picture, which are all self-explanatory. Um, if you don't have these folders, you can just um, make new folders and name them accordingly. But what we're going to do is we're just going to open up the video folder, drag our movie on in, and it will import it fairly quickly. And that's it. And if your original file is still here, you can just delete it. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope this information helped. If you have any questions, you can post a comment. And um, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.